What's going on y'all, Jermaine Man, Mega Microphone, going out the main, and it's my two year, eight month dread update. Yeah, two year, eight month dread update. Okay. So these dread updates are for me to pretty much inform you guys on what's happening with my hair since the last update. Not much has happened since then, honestly, but every update I'm gonna be going through changes, pros and cons, the styles I still do, the views, and the plans for the future, um, depending on what I have and stuff like that. So changes I've noticed since the last update, the Congos have just gotten a lot more thicker and there's a lot more of them. I can't really part my hair um, like I used to in certain styles without running to a Congo and I'm not really trying to split them dry right now. So I'm gonna wait till my retwist to split those. Um, but I haven't retwisted my hair for six months, so the Congos have really formed up for real. As far as styling my hair goes, I still only do like the top ponytail um, with some still barely in the back because I can't do them all fully up. Probably when I retwist my hair and it's not as clumpy and nappy up there at the top, it'll be a little bit easier. But I'm honestly liking the free formish kind of just afro look at the top. I'll do it in a little half pineapple at the top still. I'll wear it back and then give me a little headband and put it on just to get rid of the straggly dreads that just still kind of flop in the front. Um, but yeah, those are mainly the styles I do. I kind of keep it minimal right now, um, just because I haven't really retwisted or anything, so I haven't really tried to experiment with it. But when I bleach my dreads, I'll probably start experimenting more with styles and whatnot. The pros and no's with my dreads is people really like the way they look. I've been getting a lot of compliments on like when I'm flipping stuff, people just telling me how cool my hair looks when I flip and whatnot. And I really just like getting complimented on my hair for once finally, because when I used to have my afro, people were saying, where are you doing your hair, blah, blah, and all these other things about it. So that's one good thing is people start complimenting you because they see the growth, they see the work and be put into it. Again, be able to just shake my hair and do whatever I want with it, that's always a pro because I just, I've always wanted to do that. Cons, it just gets really, really hot and humid, especially down here in Georgia. Again, try to keep off my neck as much as possible. I'll do like a little half point on the back, but yeah, it just gets really hot. There aren't only really many cons for me that I've ran into as far as going into my locks that I didn't already know probably gonna be an issue. So I'm not really seeing those as a con, just seeing it as something that comes along with the dreads, if that makes sense. But as far as plans and goals go in the future, I still plan on bleaching my dreads. Again, more details on that in a future video. And goals, I still want my hair to be at least down to my chest. That would be cool, even better, my waist. Those are my goals right now. And like hair goals, top ponytail, just rocking that like a palm tree. Back ponytail, top bun, back bun. Again, future goals down the line. Ram horns, I had a whole dread goals list. So check out that video, I'll be right, right up here. But the main reason you're all here, let's get to the actual views of the dreads. So here's my dreads when they're down. Here's what it's looking like, just down. If I pull it down, it goes past my chin, but the shrinkage and the congos and stuff, it's pulling them all the way back up, so. But if you made this far, thanks for watching. Comment down below, hashtag Mangle to show support for the channel. Go ahead and get this video to 10 likes because for every like, one of my dreads gets a little bit more compact. True fact. Stay mangled, stay locked. Take it easy, y'all. Peace.